Hey all you Zealots and Zerglings, we got a 2 versus 2 for you here on the Boneyard, and we have Contrarian spawning here in the south position as the Blue Protoss, and his ally Night Clone as the Red Zerg, and up on the north side, not sort of the northwest side of the map, their opponents, Gambit, the Teal Protoss. And oh, would the Purple Protoss, oh a very Protoss heavy map. Interesting, so many, I seem to see so many Protoss in these games. You'd almost think the Protoss were OP or something. <laughs> I don't know. And it looks like he's going to be uh, trying to wall off. May not be a bad idea. With the uh, with the threat of Ling uh, run by is ever present. You might want to have that, that uh, choke as narrow as possible. And oh, is we? Oh, I was probably just gonna scout. I thought he was gonna do an early expand. No, he's just scouting. He's gonna scout the wrong way, of course. And this Overlord's gonna quickly see where their opponents are, but not before Contrarian scouts in the wrong direction. But that will soon be remedied. And this probe's gonna have one more miss scout before he sees this. And they're probably not gonna be like, oh, there's an Overlord here. This must be. They must be down to the south. No, nope, he's still gonna go scout over here. But I don't think that's gonna make a, a huge difference. I don't see any any early rushes coming here just yet, no. So I don't think. Uh, whoa. I don't know what's. I don't know what Nightclone's talking about there. Did I miss something, or was that over voice chat? I. I don't know. And yeah, finally, Allwood is gonna finally scout the right direction, and he's gonna be just in time to. Oh no! It looks like he's gonna be just in time to see an expansion going down. Is he going to scout this? Oh, he's gonna go right back there. Maybe he saw the drone. Maybe he's just. Gonna, oh. Oh, is he gonna? Is he gonna drop? Is he going to drop a pylon? No, he's just going to sit there and stare at the expansion. Nope, so he's going to go out there. Might have been worth it just to throw it on a pylon down there, see if he could get it to finish. But, eh, I don't know where you would put it. I mean, you put it over here in one of these corners. It could easily get spotted from the high ground. You put it back here. I don't know. He's not He's not even building anything he can use to take advantage of it. So maybe it's just best for him to go home. Nightclone's still talking up a storm here. I don't know what he's I don't know what he's going on about, but I'm sure it is quite enthralling. And now we do have, finally have that pool going down, and we just got the uh, cyber core coming out here for all wood. And Gambit is yeah, he's getting his core up as well. Looks like all of Protoss are getting up their cores while the pool is just coming down here for our Zerg player. And no gas yet. Seems to me he might want to start throwing that down so he can get up, either get up his Zergling speed or maybe uh, get to Lair Tech. But there's no gas coming yet. I think this is kind of a mistake. And whoa, that is a huge drone transfer. I think that might be a bit too much, but who am I to claim to be an expert? I, I'm not. And we do have a couple Warp Gate technologies going here. It doesn't look like Gambit has started his yet, but I think his core just finished. Yeah, and he's going to start Chrono Boosting that out. So he'll be just a little bit behind the other Protoss. But it looks like Contrarian is the first one ahead in his Warp Gate technology. And wow, Allwood's going to throw on three more gates. So he's going for a four gate now. So And getting up a second gas could be uh, getting ready for an attack, perhaps? I don't know, he's really chrono boosting out that warp gate technology. He might be wanting to go for some sort of early attack. Well, meanwhile, his ally just throwing out a third gate now, so I'm not sure if he's going to be part of this attack now. Getting that sentry out, that's not usually an offensive unit, but, you know, one or two in your offensive army may not be a bad idea. And does he have any more chrono boost to throw into that uh, warp gate technology? He does, and there it goes. Although not produce, I think he could probably get a, a wave of units out of these. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Although he doesn't quite have the money for it, that's going to be a problem. And they are going to notice no expansion, although they don't have... Oh, well, Night Clone's over here to spot this. So he knows there's no expansion going on. He's getting his Overlord's position, kind of kind of watch the map, and I guess this is going to be watching for any sort of sneaky air attack or drops or anything like that. And throwing down... Ooh, he's throwing down a bunch of spines. They're definitely expecting attack to be coming here, and that Warp Gate technology is going to be done soon. But he really doesn't have the economy. Oh, and it looks like that oh that overlord has been spotted and is going to be cleaned out of there. So they're not going to have any news coming from the front door. And these watchtowers are practically worthless on this map. Because they're not going to see anything until at least the mid-game when people uh, try to expand to the other side of the map. Which, I don't know if it's going to take that long. The warp gates are done, but he still he doesn't have a lot of money. He can probably fund a lot of zealots, but I don't know if he can he can afford much else right now. 
And what kind of what kind of income do we have right now? It looks like they are actually forget about the income right now. They are getting pretty. Much, I guess I can leave that up so you can see what's going on here. Yes, they are gearing up for an attack. What do they have going here? There's a lot of spine crawlers. I think that'll be a really powerful defense right here. And are they going to try to push up here? Not a lot for Contrarian yet, but oh, he might be moving these spine crawlers at the absolute worst time. But he does have free in place, so that's going to help. Yeah, that is going to help stall it for time. And they don't know whether to push up here or not, but they're taking a lot of damage before they decide whether or not to commit on this. And there goes the ping, because he knows that there's something going on at the front door, but this looks like this attack is going to desperately fail, because they are not going to be able to crack this front. But Contrarian, oh, he's going to get his Stalkers out, Force Field out. That was a huge mistake. Huge mistake, but at least going to bait him into the spine crawlers. Hopefully take out that Zealot. No, the Zealot will survive. But, oh, completely bait it out and then Force Field it out. That was a huge mistake for Contrarian. He, needed, he needs to mind his... Uh, Stalker is a little bit better than that, but now that we have half a second to check the income tab, it looks like Night Clone's got the best income right now, and Awa's just behind, and Contrarian Gambit kind of lagging a bit, which I'm not really sure what Contrarian's up to. He's not expanding, and he doesn't seem to have a whole lot of units, and that probe, that's a bold little probe, and it looks like he's going to try to skirt his way out of there, and we have some Robotech coming down now for all wood, so he's going to be switching up into some... Wait a minute. Oh, he's going to go four gate into Robo. So, well, he's getting this expansion up now. It might not be a bad idea, but they do still have somewhat of a contain up here, although I think, yeah, with a, if Nightclone just churns out a bunch of links, he could easily, I think, push, push this out of here. And Contrarian is deciding to, to punish a Stalker. I, it was, maybe he was the one that was in charge of those other three stalkers that got out there, and they're like uh, giving him 40 lashes or something. I don't know, but that was ridiculous. And he's going to try to sneak another probe out there. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's just scouting, but instead he's going to get a little poke into there from that spine crawler. I'm not sure what they're doing. I think it might just be best to, yeah, spread this creep and then maybe start pushing the spine crawlers out. But, oh, you've got to be careful with your stalkers, Contrarian. You've got to be careful with your stalkers. Oh, and one of those stalkers does get poked to death. And, oh, you got to be so careful. I think he's just trying to bait him into the spines, but it's just it's very, very, very dangerous. And he's going to lose this stalker for certain. Oh, no, he lost a different stalker. And then there's force field right there. Contrarian's trying to bait them out, and yeah, there's another force field. He's got to be so careful. I don't think that he needs to keep baiting them into the spines like that. They just need to build up. I think just, you know, if, if Contrarian just builds up some forces and then Nightclone gets out a bunch of uh, Zerglings, they could really fend this off, but he is going to be teching towards Spire Tech right now, and again, he's force fielded out. I don't know why he's not, why he keeps, he keeps getting his stalkers killed right now. They're absolutely fine. You don't need to pull them into the spines like that. You got enough spines to hold the front for quite some time, and there's no reason to just bust this out right away. Not when you're gonna, not when you're gonna commit with so few units. If you're gonna bust this out, you got to go all in. Basically, yeah, Contrarian doesn't know what to do, but I think they're going to be okay. Just get a little tech up and just build up a little units, and then just. And then, yeah, Night Clone's not worried. Contrarian is. Just. You just gotta put. I mean, they can reinforce this a lot faster, I think, than you can kill it. So if you, you're gonna have to go in all in or nothing. And they're gonna try to get that spine. Oh, gonna do it. Gonna throw some transfuses down, so that's not gonna work. See, and that's why they don't need to push out. These spines are gonna hold for a long time. He's even got a bunch of extra queens to defend the front, and not even. Well, it looks like he's using his. As using his. his uh, well, one of his inject queens. And no, Contrarian, don't do this again. Contrarian, pull back. You're going to get force fielded out again. There's no reason for you to do this. If you're going to push out, you just need to decide to send all your all your units out. Okay, they had an observer there. So that's how they were spotting those spines. Just sit back, macro up. And they are ooh, getting thermal lance here for, for Aw Wood. And no, don't pull out. You're going to get yourself force fielded again. And yeah, they're trying to... This is what they want you to do, and here comes the Colossus. So now they're in a now they're in a little bit of a pickle. But Contrarian, I think, has lost too many stalkers to this. And here come the Mutalists. They'll will help quite a bit against the stalkers. I'm just I'm just not sure what Contrarian is trying to do. He's 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 getting too antsy. He he wants to expand. He wants to push out, and he can't. And he's losing too many units because they either have to commit to pushing out. And he did commit to taking out the Colossus, but I don't think that was a good trade. Now he just lost all of his Stalkers. And meanwhile, we've got Gambit pushing out on the map, and... 
Oh, it looks like I didn't even notice we had Night Clone doing a bit of a counterattack right now. This is actually pretty genius right now. And that's not enough stalkers to take on those mutilists. You could easily take those out, but he probably wants to be a little bit conservative. Use their mobility to scare their probes around. And it looks like that might have helped break the contain. So Night Clone was very calm, built up to mutas, and he got a harassment force, and now and now they're good. But I think I think he got uh, Night Clone could help with his links to help force the rest of this away. But no, it looks like they're gonna push out. Now would be the time to get your probe out of there before uh they try to reestablish the contain, if they want to reestablish it, and they are coming back. If he doesn't get his probe out, he might not get it out, and oh, and now his stalkers are out of position again, and all by themselves, and he's not paying attention to them. And he's going to lose them again, and oh, it looks like we they do stuff some pylons over here, and then the contain's back up now. I think he missed his chance, and now with the Cernal Lance upgrade, and oh, this is not a good engagement. Oh, with Force Fields and the Colossus, the Zerglings are going to get absolutely destroyed. But the, the Mutalisks are helping out. I don't know if there's enough to take on all these Stalkers. And I don't know where that Zealot was going. And still using those Force Fields to, to fairly good effect. But he's going to be he's losing a lot of Mutalisks to this. Yeah, and Contrarian lost his chance to get a probe out because the contain has been reestablished. And if we check the units lost right now, yeah, Contrarian has just been not been careful with his stalkers. And it's really starting to take its toll, I think. But it looks like Gambit's been uh, gambling a bit too much himself. And they've broken the contain again. Now is the time to, to expand. Who's got this watchtower? Oh, Alwood's got this watchtower. You might want to take care of that watchtower while he can still see what's going on. There you go. Oh, he's got four stalkers there, but careful, these are equal numbers. And we got the upgrades, 1-1 one, one to... Okay, well, he does have the upgrade advantage now, so I guess he can take care of this. And Micro on that stalker back like a champ. And it looks like they're going to try to push out again. I, I really still think they have the advantage, though. They definitely have... Well, no, they don't have the bigger army, because Nyclone still has a pretty, pretty big army. 120 to... 200 and he's pushing out those spine colors maybe at a bad time they're trying to get burrowed but now this is a bit better of an engagement and he really needs to get this mutalisks on that colossus the zerglings can take care of the stalkers just fine but you got to take out that colossus and he's not focusing down the colossus those mutalisks have to focus down the colossus and finally he gets focused down on the colossus and what the zerglings will have to really help clean this up quite nicely so i think they have officially broken the contain and wow, they've really evened up the units lost now. Night Clone's the only one that really has not gone up in, uh, gone up in the losses right now. But they're definitely going to have to do something about their economy right now. They have, to, they either have to expand or they got to end the game right here. I think. But I think they're in a real, I think they're in a really good position right now, despite taking a lot of early losses to that contain. I think the contain maybe lasted a bit too long. And, and they need to just pull back and regroup. And I'm not sure what the heck they're going for right now. As we see, he's got no upgrades for his units. Gambit has no upgrades either. And they have not teched past Colossus. I well, oh, oh, no, we've got a Phoenix. I guess he's going to try to counter those Mutalisks. I, I don't know if that's going to be the best way to do it. And Night Clone looks like Night Clone's ready to go. He's got... Plus one attack on his Zerglings, not the greatest upgrades. Plus two is on the way, plus the one armor is almost done. Mutalisks also have plus one almost done. I guess he's getting ready to time his attack based on if his upgrades finishing, or he's just going to go. Forget waiting for upgrades to finish. Well, the armor has finished, and they're just going to go now. And he's going to try to force field. He's going to get a lot of the Lings trapped outside, but not enough. And you need to focus down that Colossus. The Lings will just completely obliterate this if you can get that Colossus taken care of. But if you leave that Colossus alive, you lose too many Lings. Gotta focus down the Colossus. Still not focusing it down, but a lot of Stalkers are falling, and there's still a lot of Lings left, and there goes the Colossus down. And I think they've got this now. This All these buildings are completely unpowered. He's not have any way to reinforce this right now. It's basically up to Gambit to hold this, and... No, and there's the there's the well-played GG from Allwood, and I think that was well-played. They were in a really tough spot, and, and they pushed it back, so... 
So contains like that can be broken. I was actually kind of surprised they came out so ahead. I guess they just committed to the contain too long and lost a lot of units when they finally decided to break it. And and they and they were mac and they didn't actually they didn't really macro behind it. This gate to base was taken early on. This one was I mean they didn't get off of two bases. If they had been expanding behind this or teching up, they probably could have could have dominated in the late game. But I don't know. You have to decide for yourself. But I hope you enjoyed this game and have a day.